There we are. Look at that. Connor is following a grey heron as it comes down, sinks to the water to see if it can find itself a fish or a frog or something like that. That's the old pan that we pump when this water dries out. Isn't that a gorgeous shot? And there it has landed. Now we'll see if Connor can do a little sort of swing around it. That's a grey heron. And they spend a lot of their time standing around doing not very much. And that's because I think that their diets are very rich in good food, in good fish and in good frogs, which of course are extremely rich in nutrients and take a bit of time to digest. A little bit like a raptor or a lion or a leopard. A meaty diet tastes, takes a while to digest and so they do quite a lot of standing around. They don't have to forage all the time. That one, of course, has just relieved itself, uh, probably on account of the fact that it knows I'm talking about it. And so it has just got rid of some waste products. Now, Connor, are you able to go around it in the tree? That would be wonderful. It is aware of the drone, so just, you know, you're seeing it watching the drone. And now it's flown down towards the water. Oh, that's just beautiful. Hmm. Let's head towards the Impala there, if we don't mind, Connor. Or where we can wait and see if this thing lands there. There we go. He's landed on another dead tree. <laughs> that's just wonderful. That's where the baboons were. They've all sort of headed down into the drainage line there. And you can see that things are starting to dry a little bit. Just starting to turn from that very lovely emerald green colour. And now they're starting to turn slightly yellower green. Oh, great. And of course, we do need to know where little Hosana is. And we must keep an eye out around the dam for the course of this afternoon because little Hosana is not far from here. And I um, imagine that he will come down and have a drink at some stage. Unfortunately, Ronald is now showing what can only be described as the blues. And so he's not going to see Hosanna at the moment. But that heron is in prime position to be looking for gorgeous Hosanna. Sorry, you excuse my back, everybody. I'm just looking out here because a whole lot of ox pickers have started calling. Okay, we're going to try and 